Happy Sunday, my friends. Kurt Berglund with a new football game for you to take a look at. This one, professional football. It's called the Pirate Football Game AFL Edition. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the components to the game that you get and a little bit about how to play. And then I'm going to come back in about a week and go through how to actually do the Pirate Football Game uh, to in 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 action in practice uh so let's go through the oh and all of the ordering information for this game is in the description for this video so you can check out the website get the game ordered and get yourself set up uh have everything that you need so uh, in this video i'm going to go through the component parts that you get when you order the game and a little bit about how the game is organized so that you know what you're getting yourself into. Welcome, thank you, and don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. I need your subscriptions to keep my channel going, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Let's get to look at Pirate Football. Cover page to the download looks like this. Uh, you get these components. Now again, we're focused here on AFL football. Uh, most of these teams are from the heyday of the AFL in the 1960s. There are a few that are from the 1970s. All of these teams would be considered excellent or better football teams. So you're definitely dealing with the cream of the crop when it comes to the teams that were in the AFL pre-merger, but also after the merger. Uh, this is uh, the listing of components that you get when you do the download. It contains a rule book your offense and defensive playbook with play diagrams. I'm gonna show you that. Your solitaire chart for one person play. A blank statistics sheet to keep your stats. A scoreboard and cutout numbers for use on the scoreboard. A sample full season schedule, special offense and defense play sheets. And then the offense, defense and special team sheets for each team. Uh, we'll talk about all of these components in just a moment. The teams that you get in this set are the 61 Oilers, the 63 Chargers, the 64 Patriots, the 64... There is no truth, by the way, to the rumor that Tom Brady was the quarterback of the 64 Patriots. That's just an ugly, ugly rumor. I think Giselle started the rumor, actually. Uh, 64 Bill, she was cranky one night and just, just spread the rumor. The 64 Bills, the 66 Chiefs, the 67 Raiders, the 68 Jets, the 72 Dolphins, the 73 Bengals, and the 77 Denver Broncos. All right. Um, so this is your cover page. Now, what do you get when you download the game? Well, uh, the first thing that you get uh, are the rules. Now, the rules for the Pirate football game um, are, I would guess, 20 pages, maybe less. Uh, this is what the rule book looks like. There's plenty of white space to make notes. I printed a clean copy for you to look at, but I've marked mine up completely. Maybe you do that, too. Um... Saber, it says here, Sabretooth Pro Football allows you to be the head coach, offensive coordinator, and defensive coordinator of an AFL team. We include offensive, defensive, and special teams charts for each team in the set. All right, let's look at those. The teams, and you can imagine the data that's gone into the game, but each team in the set gets three pages. They get a defense chart, they get an offense chart, and they get uh, a special teams chart. So these are, this is what a team looks like in pirate football. Three pages per team. And of course, I gave you the listing of teams just a moment ago. So that's what you play the game with, those three pages for each team. Each team has a playbook 
of 25 offensive plays and 14 defensive plays. Each team has been rated on average yards per play, consistency of the play, and the strength of schedule the team faced. In many games, cases, tabletop play, games are played by just one opponent. Other games offer a generic one-size-fits-all and solitaire instructional chart for play selection. Sabretooth Pro Football has a separate solitaire chart for each for all 10 teams in this edition. All right, so what does that look like? Well, um, in the, uh, wait a minute, where is it? Here we go. Um, so you can see, depending upon what you roll, the offensive play book selection, and you can see that it's color organized so that your chances of choosing particular plays, if you want to go solitaire against a sort of a, an opponent, the solitaire choices have been customized for each team. So there's a lot of information here that has gone into the play selection uh, probability of any particular play being chosen uh, by your opponent, opponent in the team, in the game. All right, so that's the case for offensive sets and plays and your defensive options as well. All right. Uh, you need four six-sided dice. Three should be of the same color, while the fourth should be different than the other three. You need two ten-sided dice of different colors if you're going to go solitaire. And the reason for that, as you can see from this chart, is you're going to need to look at those. You're going to go from one to a hundred on your play options if you're using the solitaire chart. And, of course, there are free dice rollers online that allow you to roll six-sided and ten-sided dice. All right, so this is uh, your play, your uh, rule book. Your rule book looks like this. The font is large, and thankfully for eyes like mine, that's a wonderful thing. And, as I mentioned before, there's plenty of white space if you are a note type of person uh, this should be right up your alley to write yourself reminders and notes as you go through. All right, next. Um, let's talk about the, we looked at the solitaire chart. Now we're going to look at the statistics. Um, there's lots of different football statistics sheets out there. This is a nice one if you're like me in that you can keep notes kind of all over the place. It has boxes for team, first downs, rushing stats, passing stats, uh, interceptions, incompletions, uh, and everything that you could want here, um, and including your final score. So what I did when I played uh, my first game is to kind of just, I wrote all over mine. And then if I wanted to make notes afterward, I could do that. But this is wonderful for keeping up as you go along, making notes of who's doing well, who's not, big plays, and all of the rest. So these are your stat sheets. Very handy. Um, now let's talk about your offensive and defensive play sheets. What you're given is a listing uh a, a, a written description of what each play does on offense and defense. There are uh, 20, I'm sorry, there are 19 offensive plays here and you are, you get a description of what the play does. So in other words, play one, 32 dive, a straight-ahead power run inside the tackles, great for picking up short yardage, but no deception. All right, and you say to yourself, all right, but what does that look like? Well, Pirate Football also gives you a diagram of what the play does. So if you want to see what a particular play does, instead of just read about it, you can see here 
This is your 32 dive play, offensive play one, a straight power run inside the tackles. Great for picking up short yardage, but no deception. Well, you can see what it looks like. So you get two things here. You get a written description of each play, and then you get a, a, a visual of what that looks like. So if you're, uh, depending upon what kind of learner and what kind of reader you are, how you're gonna take in the information, you get both to kind of fit what it is that suits you best. Now I know what you're saying to me. You're saying, Kurt, this is great, but what about the defense? What about the defense? I wanna see the defense. Yeah, well, okay. Put the gun down, put the gun down. Let's look at what the defense looks like. And if I could make my fingers work, it would be even more impressive. You get a written description of each defense that you could call in the game. So let's look at defense A. Base defense cover one. This defense of the defensive line aligns in a normal package keying on the play and reacting. If the play is a pass, the secondary is man-to-man -man with a free safety. The middle linebacker focuses on the run. Well, okay, but what does that look like? Well, here's what it looks like. You have a normal package for the defensive line, keying on the play and reacting. If the play is a pass, the secondary is man-to-man, -man with a free safety. And the middle linebacker focuses on the run. So you get the written description of the defense. And then you get a look at what that would look like in practice as well. All right, so now if we come back to the customized uh, charts for solitaire play, what is that? What does that look like? Well, you notice that the offensive plays are numbered down your left column. The defensive plays are lettered. All you need to do is to look at the team that you are playing, roll your two D10s, You'll get a number between 1 and 100, and that will tell you what defense was selected for that circumstance on the field. All right, there are uh, Okay, there is a timing sheet right here to show you how it is that timing is handled during the course of the football game. But you also uh, get penalties, weather conditions, uh, quarterback hurry chart, sack and scramble result based on quarterback rating. Um, you get some solitaire guidance on what it is that you should choose for the opposition in certain circumstances. And you get adjustments based on defenses, special defensive plays adjustment charts for particular uh, points in the game. So for example, if it's late and your defense launches into a prevent, what happens if it's late and your team wants to prevent uh, the uh, offensive players from getting out of bounds, what happens, and so on. All right, so I think that pretty much covers the component parts of pirate football. Um, In the description for this video, you will get a link to order the game and to see, to get more information about it. 
uh, so that you can look it over. But I'm going to be back with a uh, playthrough of how the game works so you can get a sense of that. I have played one full game of pirate football and my opponents that I chose were the 63 Chargers and the 67 Raiders. And the Chargers won 30 to 27. This, as you might guess, uh, in this very offensively oriented league, it was a lot of fun and it was a back and forth football game. It's a lot of fun to play, a lot of intricacy, a lot went into the development of the game. I encourage you to take a look at it. All right. I'm Kurt Berglund. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. This is Pirate Football. Look at the links in the description for the video and check it out. Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. I need your subscriptions to keep my channel going, my friends. I do appreciate it. Thank you much. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.